Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm making a start on what is probably going to be quite a short and sweet review of Persuasion by Jane Austen. This is a reread for me. I reread it as the May prompt for Rereadathon 2020. Can't actually remember what the prompt was. Um, I read Persuasion a few months ago, probably about four months ago, as a bedtime book, and didn't really enjoy it. Um, and I think the prompt was to give something a second chance. And with books like this, I do tend to find that, that the audiobooks are a lot better. So I normally, when I reread books, I listen via audiobook, and that is the same here. Uh, I'm actually listening to a free LibriVox recording. The woman's doing the voices, and it's surprisingly good, actually. And what I will say is that I've found that, um, yeah, I think having an audiobook of something like this, it really helps, because just Austin is such a wordy writer, it's beyond belief. It actually makes me want to shoot myself a little bit. So I'm going to check out some of the notes that I've made while reading it and then I'll share my overall thoughts and an updated rating at the end. So we have a character who was born in South Park, but not South Park, Colorado. Yeah, so I wrote here, um, she's so wordy it drives me nuts. I just wanted to tell her to get to the fucking point. Uh, but she does have some interesting quotes. Like she said, uh, a sailor grows old sooner than any other man. And this is quite important because one of the main characters here is a sailor. I mean, it's a romance, basically. He's talking about like the politics of marriage and stuff. So it's, this, this is the thing. It's not really my kind of subject matter to begin with. But um, I want to give Austin a fair go, you know? So yeah, another one of my notes I wrote. It's so much more accessible via audio. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, Sir Walter declared the Admiral, this sailor, to be the best looking sailor he'd met with. But again, I mean, I guess if sailors all look terrible, that's not saying that much. Uh, and there was this great bit where one of the characters was worried that someone was going to feed the kids too many sweets and desserts and that they'd get a bit hyperactive. And I just thought, bearing in mind this was written sort of 200 years or so ago, it's kind of funny how that's still a concern today, you know? All right, so a quote that I thought was quite funny. Somebody made a few fervent ejaculations of gratitude to heaven. I think we've all been there, done that. We get this great quote, everybody's heart is open when they're recovering from severe pain. I also thought it was amusing they thought the Admiral was gouty. Gouty, we don't hear that word that often these days. And uh, again, later on, <laughs> somebody was talking about him and they said, gout and decrepitude, poor old gentleman. Uh, another interesting use of words, they considered their intercourse with the Elliots as a mere matter of form. Intercourse here meaning like social intercourse as opposed to sexual intercourse. Uh, another quote I enjoyed, when pain is over, the remembrance of it often becomes a pleasure. All right, a few more Austin notes. I thought it was funny how I automatically focused on uh, any mention of anyone being persuaded in any way. Uh, Austin did, did that quite clever and it worked really well as like a recurring theme throughout the book. Uh, one of the women said that, you know, by their very nature, every man is refused until he offers, which was interesting, I guess. And then one of the women also said that, um, you know, historically men have had every advantage over women of telling women's stories, which, uh, yeah, was interesting. So overall, I did enjoy it more on this reread than on my initial read. Uh, I think it was just easier and more accessible via audiobook. Even though the woman who was reading it was just a volunteer doing it, it was for LibriVox, um, she actually put quite a lot of effort into like acting out the different sentences. And it worked quite well because one of the problems that I have with Austin is that she's so wordy and having somebody read the audiobook means that they've taken the time to like figure out the different inflection points during the sentence so otherwise you end up reading it and you keep reading the same sentence over and over again to try and figure out what she means by it um so yeah it was kind of a nice little time saver for that i mean overall it's still not really my thing and i couldn't recommend it just because i didn't particularly enjoy it but i mean i'm sure if you're interested in in jane austen you will already have got round to her. Overall, I upgraded it from a 1 out of 5 to a 3 out of 5, so uh, yeah, nicer experience. So there we have it, that's what I made of Persuasion by Jane Austen. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book, if you've read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.